Until now, we have seen how points can be plotted on a graph paper. In this video, we will understand how lines are plotted on the graph and the line is given an equation. First, let's draw the xy axis on the graph paper. This is the x axis and this is the y axis. Remember, whenever we draw a graph, it is important to mention the scale on the top right hand corner. Let's assume that the scale is 1 cm will equal 1 unit on both the axes. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on here and here on the y axis. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on on the left hand side and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on towards the bottom. Every unit is 1 cm long. We have been given some data about the points A, B, C and D which lie on the XY plane. Basically, what is given are the coordinates of the points. For A, 2 is the X coordinate and 3 is the Y coordinate. So the point A will be here. 2 units on the X axis and 3 units on the Y axis. The coordinates of point B are minus 4 and 3. So point B will be here. As the X coordinate is minus 4, we mark the point B 4 units to the left of the origin on the X axis. The Y coordinate is positive. We mark the point 3 units above the origin on the Y axis. Point C is 0, 3. It will be marked here. 0 on the X axis and 3 on the Y axis. Point D will be here, minus 2 on the x axis and 3 on the y axis. Observe all the points. Anything special about them? Yes, if we join them, we get a straight line. All the points are collinear. After joining the points, what we get is line BA. And every point on line BA is equidistant from the x-axis. Exactly 3 units away from the x-axis. How do we know it's 3? Now look at the y-coordinates of each point very carefully. It's the same for each of the points. So y is equal to 3 for each of the points on the line BA. This is called the equation of line BA. And the fact that the y value remains constant tells you that the line is parallel to x axis.